Hi guys, we've built our ISOs, the 20th and a week before release. We built them, we test them, we give it to AAG and then the 1st of February we release our ISOs. It's going to be the core ISOs. So let's install because something has changed. You know what it is, of course. The Arco, sorry, the Arclinx, yeah, said it right. The Arclinx welcome app. That's a bit different. On the other hand, it's exactly the same. It's just design wise changed. Nevertheless, I have a what if after this video. So I need a virtual box anyway. So let's record the installation and let's do that again. <laughs> Control R, you can do that in a virtual machine and you boot up again. Every single distro out there has this uh, boot, boot menu. This is a UFI boot menu, so it means black. There's a grub as well, which means you often get some background or a uh, icon, something graphical, right? Then it's often grub. Black is system D boot and you have lines. Open up the lines, see what is added after these lines. You can actually type after this thing on any distro out there, right? Just start typing the commands that you think are necessary to boot for your machine. So basically no thy machine. That's NVIDIA. That's the proprietary software that we need. We're using NVIDIA DKMS. So all the newer machines are normally supported. Anything older that needs 340 or 390, that's later on after rebooting, you go and install it from the AWAR. So if anything fails, then there's the no mode set. You see it everywhere. Any Linux distribution has the option to have a no mode set. So say, okay, whatever, try to boot up. You might end up in an 800 by 600, right? But you have something. And then you go figure out what you need for that particular operating system. In this case, VirtualBox, Intel, AMD, it's all this, right? It's all the first line. So let's boot up. And everywhere, wherever we boot, we see the Spectre version 2 mitigation leave CPU vulnerable. Everywhere the message pops up, unless you suppress the message. <laughs> but doesn't mean eh? it's any better. And then we, depending on the distro, you end up in something black or you end in something graphical. And do, we do prefer to prefer to and boot up into something where you can just click your way through. And our tool to do that is Calamaris. So github.com slash Calamaris slash Calamaris. That's where the guys develop the code. What I would call a Swiss army knife to install any Linux system on your hardware. In our machine anyway, if this is too small, I've seen that many other distros don't do that. But if we do control F, and control F again. Again, he knows, he realizes, hey, I have 1920 on 1080. So there's no need to go. What normally you would have done is go in here, go to display and set it the right way. So all the thing in on our ISO, all the only thing you need to do is control F, control F on VirtualBox, of course. So where was I? I was going to install and I've closed my Alpen welcome app. So control Alt W. The welcome app, that's the thing that changed. The technicality, the what's behind it is exactly the same thing. But we've put some information away here so that we get a clean boot up thing saying, look guys, if you have messed with your hard drive, go and run Gparted. Clean it up, make sure that everything is like it's shown here. Unallocate, nothing there, There's, everything is gone. This is basically the image you get when you buy an SSD from the shop. Not nothing has touched. There's no one and no not a zero, not a one. Nothing on there. It's a clean slate, and that's what is best and easiest, right, to install any operating system, system, a Windows, a Mac alike. So there are two options. Well, this as well as an extra option, if you think, and normally you're you're okay, right? Just trust me. The servers that we've put as the first servers are. Great service, fast service for the world, worldwide. But even so, if, if you have um, the idea that the Arch Linux mirrors that we give you as default 
are not good, then you press the button and it will update the Arch Linux mirrors. And that's for the tiling window manager, guys. If you have, again, a very small thing, you can set it with this output layout. So only for guys, tiling window manager, and you can just click, 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 and then apply and boom, everything fixed. Then the major buttons, right? The big buttons, all this is just explanation of random stuff. What matters is either you decide to install something offline, which is the default on so many distributions, which means we don't go, uh, we don't need internet, we don't need a wireless that working, we don't, uh, if there are Arch Linux servers out, doesn't matter. If you're on the beach sitting, no internet, doesn't matter. I mean, keys, there are problems with keys, doesn't matter. So this is the easiest and, and also the fastest thing because it's just put that bit to there and put that byte to there. That's it. This is the more advanced where you need to know what you need to install, what you want to install and everything matters. Your internet connection, the firewall, the country that is blocking your um, connections. I mean, everything, keys, servers down. It's, there are so many parameters that where it can go wrong. That's why we also say up here, use the easy installation if the advanced installation fails because there are so many parameters that we don't have control over. And this one we do. So let me show you first this. So whatever you click, this one or that one, you have to think, what do I want to have as boot up? Now, if everything is good and you have an old machine, then it will be just grub. There will be no choice and it is gonna be a grub for you. But if you have a machine that has UFI and grub, then of course you can choose. So here is the choice in this virtual machine. I've set it to UEFI. Let's do a little bit of um, virtual box as well. Enable UFI special OSs only, right? So I set it to yes, please do. Then we get the choice and otherwise we don't see the choice. So install grub is graphical. You have a wallpaper behind it and this is black and we use another system to boot. Install system D boot. So it's your choice. If you don't know what to do, I suggest you do install grub. All right. So that's an option. Let's kill this thing. We can go for an advanced installation. Again, the question eh, arises, which one do you want to have? It's a choice. If you don't know, install grub. This thing is going to be a long list, a lot of things in here, a lot of choices. Opposed to the other one, which I have not shown, I realize now, which is the normal Linux distribution kind of thing, like say, where do you live? What language do you want? Where do you live? What keyboard do you want? How to format your um, erase your disk and, and so on, swap, no swap. Then later on you're asked, who are you? And so on. And then the summary install finish. That's the normal go through on any of the, um, well, Linux distributions. This one has a lot of choices. And even if you forget something from to select something here, there is Sofiram later on. So Sofiram is basically a software installer remover and the selection you see here, you'll get it later as well. So you can install lots of things and can combine lots of things with knowledge is needed, right? Some things you can't combine because of um, packages conflicting. This desktop is not working with that one and so on. But it's always safe, this is XFCE, to do a desktop with a tiling manager. Often that's no problem. But if, if you start mixing deeping, for instance, with something else, that's going to be a problem. So watch out for those. But in the beginning, uh, just don't select anything and be very cautious and say, OK, I'm going to try one thing, one thing, next thing, that thing and so on. So a lot of choices to make now or to make later with software. And that's the one I would select because I am an Arclix developer. Okay. These are the things I'm missing on my own ISO. So this will be downloaded and installed. The more you select, and there's a lot to select, 
the more time it will take to download, the more time it will take to install. So, depending on the speed of your internet, depending on the speed of your CPU, it will take no time at all, or it will be tediously slow. Right? It's up to your network and your hardware. So there you go. That's basically changed um, the application there, the greeting, the welcome app is the one we've changed and all the rest is just next 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 and you choose whatever you want like so and we're coming at the conclusion of our video let the thing do its work boot up and have fun All right cheers